Greetings and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ed and today we're diving into the captivating world of the copper band butterfly fish. A reef dweller known for its stunning looks and interesting behavior. But their beauty comes with a challenge. You see, they can be tricky to keep in aquariums. So if you're thinking of adding one to your tank, this video is for you. The copper band butterfly fish with its vibrant orange body and bold black stripes is a real eye catcher. But its elongated snout is without a doubt its most distinctive feature. You see, this unique adaptation allows them to reach into crevices and graze on tiny polyps, which is their primary source of food in the wild. Now, while tempting, the copper band butterfly fish aren't ideal for beginning aquarists, to be honest. You see, they require specific care, including a mature, stable tank with plenty of live rock for grazing and for hiding in. They're also known to be semi-aggressive toward other fish, especially their own kind. So housing only one copper band per tank is recommended unless you have a very large tank, perhaps 150 to 180 gallons and up. So if you're up for the challenge, Providing the right environment for this fish is crucial. A well-established reef tank of at least 100 gallons is ideal for a single specimen. You must ensure that you have excellent water quality with stable parameters, strong water flow, and that you provide regular water changes. And remember to mimic their natural habitat with live rock and hiding places. One significant point though, copper band butterfly fish are finicky eaters, notorious for rejecting typical fish food. Their diet primarily consists of tiny polyps and in some instances, uh, some forms of algae, which they graze on in the wild. In captivity though, offering a variety of live foods like mysis shrimp or even frozen mysis shrimp, live black worms, live or frozen blood worms, and chopped clams is essential. Personally, I've had success with my current copper band with live black worms, frozen blood worms, and frozen mysis shrimp. And most importantly, live Aptasia anemones. Now, since introducing my current copper band, it actually took only maybe two or three months for him to completely eradicate my Aptasia infestation. Now, again, maintaining pristine water quality is key. Regularly test and adjust your water parameters and perform water changes as needed. You also want to monitor your copper band closely for signs of stress, perhaps from other fish, or illness, uh, such as erratic swimming, loss of appetite, or even some form of discoloration. Early detection and intervention are crucial for their health because they can go downhill in a hurry. Now, this in fact is the third copper band butterfish, butterfly fish that I have ever had in all of my time reef keeping. See, neither of the first two that I've had lasted more than a week and a half. But this one seems honestly to be doing great so if I were to equate this to a baseball batting average, I guess I'm hitting 333, which would probably put me in line to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, 
if it continued. So let's hope I don't enter a slump anytime soon. Now, to conclude this, the Copper Band Butterfly is truly a captivating addition to a mature reef tank. But their specific needs require experienced and attentive aquarists. By providing a suitable environment, proper diet, and attentive care, you can watch your copper band butterfly fish thrive and bring a touch of the reef to your home. Well, I appreciate you joining me for this brief exploration of the copper band butterfly fish. And if you have any questions about this fascinating fish, please be sure to leave them uh, down in the comments below. And if you stuck with me this far through the video, again, I truly appreciate you staying with me. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we'll have videos out on a more frequent basis and perhaps even leaving a comment in order to help the channel grow uh, within the YouTube environment. Thanks again. My name is Ed. Take care.